that's where it was. But you can see the gravel driveway. So it was right next to that bush in the gravel driveway there. Shannon Hawkins loves watching the deer visit her home on San Juan Island, which is why she was so upset when one turned up dead at the end of her driveway. Well, it was a little bit sad because I figured it was one of the ones that hung around my yard. And so, um, and then I kind of wondered what kind of disease it might have. The San Juan County Sheriff's Office says approximately 10 deer have been reported dead on neighboring Orcas Island, some with white froth around their mouth and nose. The Sheriff's Office said State Fish and Wildlife initially said it could be the result of some sort of lawn care spray, though WDFW State Wildlife Veterinarian says that's an unlikely culprit now. Cervid adenovirus hemorrhagic disease. So that was the first thing that came to mind. She says that virus is not a threat to people, pets, or livestock, but it can be fatal for deer. It was confirmed for the first time in Washington back in 2017, and she's not surprised now with an outbreak in BC last year. WSU is doing testing on the deer to confirm this. Is there anything we should be doing to prevent further transmission among Washington deer? So if people are feeding deer right now, it would probably be good to stop feeding the deer, to not concentrate them and bring them all together where they're going to be able to transmit this disease between themselves. So people like Shannon can protect their backyard visitors. I just hope they find the cause and maybe can prevent more of these deer from dying. It's very sad when you see them do that. Michael Crow, King 5 News.